We just look for different things in people than most, most programs. Uh, anybody can go see a kid who can run fast and jump high and um, looks good on a highlight tape. It's hard to look inside the man because you don't know if that guy pumps blood or Kool-Aid, so you better find out real fast if that dude pumps blood or Kool-Aid. Uh, and for us, we want dudes who pump blood. Where was Green Bay prior to us coming on board? 362 out of 363 Division One programs. Uh, you're taking over what would be considered by statistical measurements the worst program in Division One basketball. Green Bay has a basketball team. <laughs> yeah, weren't they in last place? 361 out of 363 to be exact. People at all the challenge. Why would you take that challenge job? Uh, that's an opportunity. What makes a man decide to take that leap? Uh, faith. Because you gotta have a strong faith if you're gonna climb a mountain that we're about to climb. But where does the name Sundance come from, man? That's a, that's a crazy story because you got to go all the way back to the origin, man. You got to go back to the Genesis. You got to go back to Gillette, Wyoming. Uh, two traditional Catholic families. I mean, we had really, really boring names, to be honest with you. You got Tom, John, Al, Dan, Linda, Mary, Bob, Pete, Paul, Kevin, Barb, Trish. Pretty exciting names. And for my family to, you know, my mom and dad to decide that they wanted to go with Sundance. I'll tell you this, man. I've said it a thousand times. I think my mom had a a massive secret crush on Robert Redford. Well, that ought to do it. There's power in a name. Uh, Sundance is, a, is kind of a funny name, but it fits the personality. I'll tell you this, you're not gonna meet a whole lot of people that said Sundance was boring. <laughs> Promise you that. I, I just believe it. God gifted me with gratuitous amounts of energy, man. So uh, I, I know this, if I don't use it, God's gonna give it away. Uh, so I do believe there's a beautiful power and a self-fulfilling prophecy in a name. Uh, Sundance, if the sun can dance, and that's why my firstborn son, Skywalker, got, got his name. If the sun can dance, the sky can walk. It, it kind of correlates to building a program, too. Uh, the things we say, how we speak in our program. Uh, there's self-fulfilling prophecies that you have to learn how to speak. You have to have a system of talk, a verbiage uh, that your players hear constantly. Well, I'm a big fan of Michael Phelps. I, I love anybody who can do something that's never been done. You got to look into that soul of that man and find out what makes him tick. Uh, and when you when you realize, when, you know, that Michael Phelps, to get his nine gold medals, I think it was, got in the pool every day, 365 days a year for five years, five years straight to get what he wanted, to achieve what was probably considered impossible by most standards. He got in the pool every single day for us to take our program where we want to go to do pretty much the impossible, to take it from 362 to a top 100 program, we're going to have to get in the pool every single day. importance of this it's not that like oh we just get more time we have very limited time 
59 days. If we aren't in shape, we can't play. So, everybody get some mulligan, boys. But I can't give out mulligans for wanting to be in shape, and I can't give out mulligans for wanting to be a team that wants to come down and compete on day two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So 365, 24-7, Michael Phelps, get in the pool. Our guys, get in the pool. If it hurts, get in the pool. You're sore, get in the pool. You got a little bit of pain about it, get in the pool. Shot doesn't feel right today, get in the pool. Don't have a lot of confidence in your stuff right now, get in the pool. Every single day. The Ramsey, where players will be required to run the length of the court, end line to end line, 10 times, all within the span of one minute. This sequence must be repeated and completed three times. You know what it is, man. If you don't got to get ready if you stay ready. You don't got to get ready if you stay ready. There's a level of fear that I think a lot of players have nowadays about discomfort. There's a level of, I just want, I don't want to chase discomfort. I want to be comfortable. There's got to be a threshold that you got to push yourself past if you want to achieve greatness. Those dark spaces, those dark spaces in the, in the corners of the universe that nobody wants to explore. It's like the Mariana Trench of conditioning tests. Nobody goes to the Mariana Trench except subs that can go past a certain level of depth. <laughs> You find out who was, who was willing to grit it out, and not everybody made it. Now that Ramsey test, uh, that was definitely tough. I mean, I finished it the first day, but that's because I was like really focused on my first steps. It was first three, four steps fast, and the rest you kind of like cruise through. But it was definitely tough for a lot of people. I definitely saw a lot of hurt on their faces. And to be honest with you, basketball is probably the longest season in all sports, so there should never be a time if you're a basketball player uh, that you're actually out of shape. And the best teams are the best condition teams. The best teams are the guys who can play hard longer. the conditioning test on day one. One. How many passed on day two? Seven. What's that tell you? What's that tell you? If one pass on day one and seven pass on day two, what that tells you is what you did 24 hours ago, you just, you just changed your best. So if one can pass on day one, but then all of a sudden you can come back the next day, you, d you didn't get better shape after 24 hours. I can promise you that. What you did is you got sharper here. There ain't no secret sauce out there now. Um, not here to tell you what it is or what it isn't because everybody's got their own standards. But for our standard, uh, our standard is taking you to a place that mentally that you probably won't push yourself to naturally. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. So there's a whole lot of people who work really hard here and uh, some of them teach chemistry. They're not very visible. They understand how you play, right? They, they feel that, right? And I feel that in the community, right? They want you to do well, badly. What you're doing now, you get to watch you actually do what you love, right? And understand how lucky you are, right? A lot of people don't get a chance to do what they love and do it at a really high level. And you've got that chance. What does it mean to 
this community? What does it mean to Title Town? I mean, the, the blue collar, hard hat lunch pail, blue jeans and boots type community that was built on the backs of the Packers, right? You know, when Vince Lombardi was here. Uh, and I hope more than anything that this, this community resonates and connects with the fact that this community has scars. It ain't been easy for Green Bay all the way through. It ain't been easy for the Packers all the way through. And you're gonna go through your down times. You're gonna have your ups, you're gonna have your downs. But we're still here. We're still fighting. Still got grit. Still got guts. Still have soul. Still believe in the things that are important to us. I have a good friend of mine, man, Houston Reed. Shout out to Blood. No part-time dogs. No part-time dogs over here. Full-time dogs, man. So for me, what we took over, what we came into, being at 362, I mean, that, when you have a plan, and you put that plan into action, and you double down on your plan, you double down on your passion, you double down on your purpose, right, good things can happen. Right, so uh, the guy's running first through the wall, the guy's gonna have the most bruises, they're gonna have the most scars. But you gotta have those people that rally and lead the way, knowing that like those who lead the way are probably gonna get the bloodiest. Welcome back to the Press Center. Another season of Phoenix basketball. Tonight, the Phoenix take on the St. Norbert Green Knights. Led by a new coach, a new team, and a new system. Let's see if this team rises from the ashes. 